fuckers and fuckers, it's me, that Polish motherfucker, and you're watching the... Do you ever just get the random urge to take a bite out of one of these nice, clearish soap bars? Well, don't. Because they're deadly, they're poisonous. And you'll die, and they don't taste very good. They smell very good, but they don't taste as good. So, warning. So, in today's video, instead of eating that, do what I'm about to make. Agar agar jelly cakes, right? I see just found it on TikTok and I didn't want to make it because I don't want to have to sit in, a, in front of a computer screen all day making videos and I can be in here. The magic kitchen. I'll get all the ingredients ready. Now, as a person who does not eat meat myself, I have agar agar at my house. It's just basically like a vegetable gelatin made out of plants. So, um, yeah, you, not a lot of people might have this in their house or they might, I don't know. The recipe I watched, because I had to rest, watch a recipe for this, I'm sorry. Didn't use food coloring, but I'm gonna food coloring, but I'm gonna try to match the thing I showed you five fucking seconds ago uh, with red food coloring and strawberry eyes, which are just cut up on the side. So now we get a pot with water. Oh, okay, I have a cup of water right to the brim, so I'll just. Oh no, curva! It went everywhere. Okay. Awesome, amazing, great. Okay, I'm not gonna clean it up right now because I don't feel like it. I'm gonna clean that up afterwards. Anyways, now, the camera's really fucking pointed down so I have to keep my head or else I'll go like... That's great, I have to, I don't have much space to work with. Now, here we have a little bag of agar agar. You need one tablespoon, which is that big spoon. One of these big spoons, so I will just Put that in the water, and then you, I'm um, gonna get a whisk. One tablespoon of agar agar powder, as you can see. This better be fucking dense, or else I'll be angry, because uh, I didn't get this agar agar anywhere near where I live, actually. Now we stir until it's completely dissolved. Now, four tablespoons of sugar, because every recipe I make has diabetes. One and a half. Two and a half. No way, my math isn't mathing. Three. Three and a half. Oh, no. Okay, now with the sugar in, I'm gonna stir it a little more. I don't I don't remember if I have to stir the sugar until it's dissolved, but I'll just do that again. Now I'm gonna add some of the red food coloring. I don't know if this is gonna affect the taste. I'll just bloop. Bloop. I'm not gonna taste pure red food coloring because it tastes horrible. I know from experiences. Here is how it looks. It's nice and red. I don't know if you saw that. I hope you saw that. It's gonna move you over here now, I guess. Now you're in a different spot with a different view. So now you get to see my head, right? Now, this stirred goes cooking up until boiling. Hello, you're now in a different spot with a different angle and I have to bend down to see you. Now, I put the I will put the thing onto the stove right here. So you'll get an insane close-up of the nice shiny pot. This is the thing I'm gonna use, as you can see. Halloween, because it I don't know it's past Halloween, but I don't give a shit. And little fishies, bloop bloops. I don't know if you can see that, because uh, it keeps getting darker and brighter. That's not my problem. Anyways, now we will just drop this on and begin cooking until boil. So. Time to pour this into dye molds. I'm gonna start off with the Halloween mold. Filled up the Halloween mold without any spills because I'm a pro, so now I'll just do the fishy thingy. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I'm done pouring it all out. I just realized that the IKEA one says four water only. That's not a problem, is it really? Because it's basically water. 
Now, anyways, I will start adding the strawberries onto the Halloween ones. Okay, now everything's put in place, right? So I will just show you. It looks very good. Now we just leave it to set for like an hour before we come back and take them out. See you then. Okay, well, the fish have been cooled down enough to a nice gummy. The, the, the good ones aren't done yet, but I'll just check up on those later. Taste test. Those aren't the, um, uh, it's not, yeah, it's, you think there's milk in it, but like, so little milk that you can just taste it, but not enough milk for it to taste like good milk, you know, you get what I'm saying. These are set, I'm presuming, because they've been setting for quite a long time now, so I'll just plop these out and try them. Okay, right here is the strawberry, um, fucking pumpkin witch. So I will just try that real quick. Hmm. That is really fucking good. Final grading score, I give it a 9 out of 10. The texture is not for everyone, but I love it. Subscribe, you fuckers!